remember Father Jim saying he had something really special to bring to the parish. And I'll be very honest that when we found out it was Financial Peace University, uh, we were a little disappointed. <laughs> we thought it was going to be this really transformational thing. Well, come to find out years later when we did Financial Peace University, it's incredibly transformational. And not in the way that that we necessarily thought it would yeah. be. It certainly was for our finances, but it was for our relationship, our belief in why God had given us the treasure and how we were supposed to go about using it. And thankfully, Financial Peace University also does that with a lot of good humor. Mm -hmm. So we stayed engaged throughout. Uh, we ended up doing the online sessions because we had little ones at the time, and the thought of taking them to childcare to cry for two hours <laughs> while we were in session was just a, a bit too much. But once we put them to bed, we would sit down, do the lessons, talk through things, and it really was a huge support of our communication about finances, but really beyond that. And we changed our view rather than thinking of all the things we were doing without or going without. It was what we were able to buy with the gifts that God had given us. And tithe is at the top of the list in Financial Peace University. It comes before everything else. And you list your income, you list your tithe, and then all of the other things that God is enabling you to do, whether that's saving for your children's college or saving for a vacation or, uh, you know, hosting Thanksgiving one November. It just, it really for me, categorize things in a way that were thoughtful and meaningful and more was more about what we were able to do than what we weren't able to do. Yeah. And the, the, the full 10% tithe, when we prayed on it and prayed hard, uh, we realized that it wasn't our money. Mm -hmm. It was ours uh, to give. And it was a requirement as part of being not only a good parishioner, but a good participant in our community and knowing that the great work that St. Mike's is engaged in throughout the community, the Olympia area wouldn't be the same without all of the places that St. Mike's has uh, provided support. And knowing that once we came to peace with the fact that that money wasn't ours, <laughs> we didn't even think about it. Like it's mm -hmm. just right off the top. We don't even budget for it in terms of what we spend. It just goes right to the church because we know that it's in good hands and it's in God's hands, and it's just part of the part of what we do. And showing that to our kids, mm -hmm. that you know, we we also have uh, our kids participating in the same way with uh, when they participate and they get a commission, <laughs> and then when their commission is received, that first ten percent goes right to giving, whether it's rice bowl or all the other programs that the kids have to uh, opportunities to give and learn how that feels, and that it's mm -hmm. not yours, that it's God's, and that it's part of being a participant in the spiritual life. So giving is one of those things where recognizing that you, again, you get more than you <laughs> give. And if you're building a foundation for your children based on the Holy Spirit, there is, that's priceless. That's invaluable. Mm -hmm. There is no monetary amount that you can put on having your kids have a foundation of love uh, and giving. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs>